Welcome to Let's Play the Great Circus Mystery featuring Mickey and Minnie, Part 2. My name is I Like Being Smart, and this is the first helping of a post-commentary duo upload. The other one is Part 81 for Let's Play Earthbound. Link in the sidebar to that and vice versa, depending on which video you watched first. Uh, this one's actually longer than the Earthbound one. I just got done recording that, so I'm a bit worried about that, but I'll I'll talk about this. Boo! Did I scare you? Ghosts! <laughs> I should have guessed. You boys went to the circus and ruined it, didn't you? No, no. We've been too busy entertaining your friend, Pluto. It seems something scared him at the circus. And he got lost. He told... We told him to meet us at our home at the other side of the jungle. You're welcome to join us there. This furry outfit should help you on the journey. Why? Well, I don't know what that said there. Thank you, thank you. I think I was just speeding through it. Yeah, the the video here is a little choppy, which I didn't realize while I was recording it. But I think, it, it, I don't know. I think it's fine. Um. So I'm just remembering how to switch stuff, and um. Watch out for future parts of the Let's Play where I keep insisting, because, right, Minnie has a hook, right, but it's a jungle outfit, but she kind of looks like a miner, but I keep accidentally calling her a hooker, so I'm like, that's a hook, the hooker, no, 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 I'm a miner, no, the hooker. <laughs> Minnie is not a hooker, ladies and gentlemen. That's probably going to be the subtitle of this friggin' video. Minnie is not a hooker. Um, stupid Baron Pete hiding in the friggin' little bushes like a wimp. Okay. So this was as far as I got on my original, excuse me, on my original playthrough. Just to kind of test out the controls and test out, um, Testing out the controls and testing out the game and whatever. This was how far I got. Um, yeah, that doesn't work. So what you have to do when he gets there is um, you have to jump on his shell and you won't get hit by the water. So you'll see what happens in a little bit. Um, I figured that out too. I'm like, oh look, I can jump on his shell. And if you jump on his shell to kind of jump up on his head. That doesn't hurt you, so. Uh, yeah, I don't think I figured it out here. When do I figure it out? I think I figure it out next time. So, yeah. Um, so, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. I think it's stuff that I like saying. Yeah, I think this is when I figure it out. If you just bounce there, the water can't hit you. I'm like, can I survive this on one heart? Oh my god. The epicness. The epicness. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> so, that's another continue. What am I saying here? Something. Uh, maybe I was saying something about how you're going to see a lot of continues in this Let's Play. Which, let me tell you, finishing... Having finished the Let's Play, um, you are going to see quite a few more continues, <laughs> so. Um, I get a couple, I don't want to spoil it too much, but I get a couple upgrades, which makes my life a little easier. Not too much, but enough. Um, so I get more than three hearts by the end of the game, which is good. Why did I ch Oh, right. I'm trying to figure out how to destroy those blocks. Because I I know there's a way to do it at this point. I figure out a way later. But at this point, I know there's a way to do it. And I'm trying to remember how to do it. And I just... I can't figure it out for the life of me. How are you supposed to destroy those friggin' blocks? I'm very glad they're pretty generous with the... Uh, lives in this game because it's really easy to get hit like 
this ends up being a nine part LP, which is what I put in my playlist. So that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. And it probably could have been seven or eight parts had I not died so much. So, <laughs> you know, and even the six and or seven and or eight, I haven't edited it yet, but those are short parts. So well, I know for sure eight is short. I'm not sure about seven, but yeah. Um, Oh, look, I'm jumping on the turtle shell. Ha, 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 ha. So I figured in this part, once I get done with this boss, or maybe kind of during this boss, um, I can reminisce about uh, Disney. Disney World. I've never been to Disneyland, but Disney World and stuff like that, since I don't really do it in any of the other parts of this LP. Um, so, Fam and I meaning my mom, my dad, my brother, and I have been to Disney World a few times. Um, I love Epcot. I really do. I think I is when I was younger, I didn't appreciate all the cultural stuff. But what are you doing? Come on, just jump on the back of the turtle and quit getting hit. Anyway. Um... I, I love Epcot, though, and I think if I went back there, I would have a greater appreciation for the culture stuff um, than I do than I did when last time we were there. I can't remember when we were there. Um, I love the the trust test track. There's like a thing with test track, and it's like a car, and you go through all this other stuff. It's really cool. Uh, that was probably my favorite ride when we were there. Um, and then I'm saying here, I haven't gone any further than this. The rest of this LP is blind. So I tell you. And then I start to suck more. It's a good time. You can't climb up past these branches. Or maybe you can. You can. Why? It takes me like three gazillion times to try to get up there. That's the highest I get for about... I, another minute or so, I keep getting knocked back down. So, <laughs> yeah. Or I just fall down, because... Yeah. So, yeah, it was really, really a good time. And this was back... And I remember one time we went there. This was back in the days when Nickelodeon was pretty popular with all the classic game shows. Um, you know, Guts, Double Dare, Legends of the Hidden Temple all the classic game shows that you can now find on Nick Gas, which is Nick Games and Sports. Um, and we actually went to a taping of Double Dare. Oh, I died again. What a surprise. We actually went to a taping of Double Dare, like, in the studio, and um, I got my picture with Mark Summers. It's around the house somewhere. God, that would be an embarrassing picture to show on the internet. But I have to like scan it in and stuff, so you won't see it. Maybe you'll see it someday. But I got a picture of Mark Summers, who now does some things on Food Network. Actually, um, he is kind of a Food Network guy now, which is cool. But back when he hosted Double Dare, and actually it was funny. I before I, he was on the Food Network, I didn't realize he was still alive. I thought he had died of like drug or alcohol abuse or something like that. Um, <laughs> I was like, it was like I saw him on the food rack. I'm like, I thought Mark Summers died. It's like, no, he didn't die. What are you talking about? Um. So I think here finally I figured out if I can just jump on this, that little hook over there that I have to go left. And then, oh look, I can click onto that, and I can click onto that. That is the secret to getting out of this area. So, I still think I kind of suck, but... Oh, and there's these little annoying flying squirrel guys that are so obnoxious and just get in your way. And then I'm like, oh, there's a hook thing up there. Cool. Oh, look, there's a sidey thing. Sweet. I cleared the area. Oh, then that fucking squirrel hurts me. Look at it. Look at this. 
like while I'm on this thing, he hurts me. That is so not fair. I don't think that should count. But yeah, Disney. We got to look around the Disney Studios. Oh God! I now I'm just thinking about Disney shows from the '90s. How freaking good it was! Legends of the Hidden Temple. Guts. Double Dare. Um, dog. Regrets. Oh, I never. I don't think I ever find a way to get up there. I know there's probably a way to get up there that's crafty, but I can't figure it out. I think I spend the rest of this time trying to figure it out. What else? Doug, Rugrats, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Um, the show with Keenan and Keenan and Kel was the show, but then the show with, uh, so no, so what? Oh, uh, Amanda Bynes. What was it called? 